okay, your ESA is in production, right? And you want to test out a message filter, but you know that it's in production. And therefore, if you make any change, you might end up messing it up. And your company's emails are going to be stopped or dropped or something may happen that, you know, the, the, the management is not going to be happy about. So what do you do in that case? Well, there's an option in the Cisco ESA under message filters. So this is the command to you know, get into the message filters. And uh, I don't have any message filters at the moment, so you can do new. So basically what I was saying was that there is a certain um, option in your message filters using which you can go ahead and test out a message filter that you want to test in production and you're not going to break anything, anything. Check, check this out. Okay, I'm going to give this uh, the name test no op, short for no operation. Well, that's what we're going to check, uh, check right now. So I'm going to say header repeats. Well, I'm not going to send any emails, so I'm just showing you the structure right now. Um, we can have subject in here or mail from. And I'm, 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 I'm going to explain to you what this header repeats is, so it's all right. Uh, relax. Incoming. And that's it. And then this action, the magical action that I was talking about, which does not affect your production. Okay. And after that, I'm going to show you how you can actually make sure that what's, what's going on with it. If it's not taking an action, how do you get to know, um, you know, when it's getting executed and whatnot? For those of you who know, that's good. For those of you who don't, let me tell you how right after this. All right, one filters added. So what's really happening here? So this is the name of the message filter. Okay, good. If, so this is the condition. What is the condition? Header repeats. Hey, is this, this, does a particular subject repeat 10 times in the last one R? So it's by default one R. Okay, uh, like this is the number of repetitions of the subject, of a certain subject, let's say. Uh, malware, okay? Let's say there's a subject, malware, in 10 of the emails, okay? Out of the uh, 100 emails that were received in the last one hour. So let's say there were 100 emails received on your ESA as incoming, and out of those, 10 had this subject of malware. Well, then this limit is hit, right? So basically in that case, this will be executed and this will return a value of true, a Boolean true, right? So at that particular moment, this action will be taken, but what's the action? The action is no operation. So don't take any operation. So what is this header repeats? Uh, check if the subject uh, repeated 10 times in the last one are in the incoming emails, right? So yeah, if you, if you didn't get it, just, you know, take the video back a little bit and uh, you know, be done with it. Okay, so there's no equivalent of it in the content filters, so you cannot do it from the content filters. So if you go to the content filters from the GUI and you try to do that, it's gonna say, no, not you cannot do that. Let me just show it to you real quick. Um, right, so this is, the, uh, this is my ESA and I go to incoming content filters. That's where I'm at right now. If I say add filter and what I try to do is, I go ahead and give it a name. I, I'll give it the same name. Let's let's just do the test trick. Make it quick. Okay, let's say I give it some something. The recipient contains this. I say okay. Okay, so I have the condition now, right? I've put in the condition. Now I don't want to take any action, right? So as I said, there's uh, there's no option to do that in the content filters. If I say submit, it's going to throw me an error. It's going to say, are you okay? What are you trying to do? Please add at least one action, right? So that's an error right there. So I got to add an action. From the message filters, however, that no op option is there with which you can test out any new message filter that you want to test in the production environment. It's not going to cause any problems, right? And just to say that, you know, I make these videos just for educational purposes. If you, if you want to try anything, try it at your own risk. Anyways, um, I'll put the... Uh, you know, uh, user guide information regarding this no op in the description below, so don't worry about that.
Now, one more thing, the last one, what I wanted to talk about. Let's say this that message filter is getting executed at a certain time. So what do you do in that case? So you go to monitor, right? Under monitor, you have this option off message filters. That's where you actually, you know, monitor the of the behavior of that message filter of what's really going on and how many times it got executed and whatnot. So you see there are these two options available, top message filters by numbers of matches and message filters by numbers of matches, details about that. You can select a certain time range, which you can check from here and that's pretty much it. You select that and it's gonna, uh, it's gonna execute it right away. So 90 days, as soon as I check that, I, as soon as I select that, you see it just reloaded again. That's pretty much it. Well, I didn't have anything, so Anyways, nothing for the message filters. Great, so thank you so much. Um, that's it for today. I'm gonna come up with more message filter videos. And uh, those of you who are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments section. I'll be very glad to answer as long as I know it. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day ahead. Goodbye.